Hi everybody, it's Alex again. So I'm still going through the stuff that I got on my last trip to the UK. I'm I'm going through them one by one so I can clean them, use them and put them away properly rather than show them you just dirty and never show you what to do with them. So these two items I got at Bewley. Now I've decided to show you sort of categorized what I've got. So th this section is about lamps. These are the two lamps I've got. Uh, this is a, an English made lamp that uh fits to your bicycle real light rocket style i liked it you can tell the price i don't remember what the paper was around that number um apparently they came in black and gray and this model must have been a, a gray model that's been painted black at some point in its life as you can see it it's not original black it's it's a bit of a rough job the paintwork and the paintwork is over the scratches so, so that's not original so what do they tend to do is clean off the paintwork clean it up a little bit yeah so as you can tell i've already started over here i've been experimenting with scraping uh which, which gave a few scratches that i now need to send out which is fine will be okay uh clean the lens get a d-cell battery get a d-cell battery takes takes a simple d-cell battery see if it works and mount it to my bicycle my bicycle is gray and blue so gray would be nice so at the end of the video, this should be at least a clean lamp and hopefully a working lamp. Now this lamp is a lamp I've been wanting for quite a while. This lamp is made in the Netherlands. As you can see right here. Made in Holland. Um, this was made in the war uh, for use during the blackout on winter nights. So they had a curfew. They all had to be inside at 8 o'clock and it you know at winter times the whole country will be dark uh, at the time to prevent air raids or to prevent planes finding their way to germany um so this is what people would use going home five six o'clock in the evening already dark in the winter this is what they would use uh, so, so it's very cool um as you can see the guy was asking 35 then i went back then he had a 32 pound note on there which is about the going price most of them are around that number and sometimes or a lot of times even missing the lens and i think we've talked to him for quite a while we've gotten it for about 20 or so this will get very little work i try and see if i can get the lens off clean the lens you know oil this a little bit and that'll be that one i might show you i might not even show you but you probably won't see the difference on video so yeah uh, next bit of the clip it will contain at least a clean, hopefully working lamp. So here is the lamp case after I've taken most of the paintwork off. Now you can see, you can see the damage the previous owner, or probably the original owner, has been hiding probably where the bike fell. So, uh, so you can tell it, it, it was originally grey, as I said. So I'm going to try and sand most of that out and polish it up. So I've already started sanding here, as you can tell. So I start with some something a little bit coarser, like a 320 grid, and I work my way up. Um, I might leave that in there because it's on the ridge, and you'll, you'll round the ridge over. Uh, the glass is kind of the same, very scuffed up. It will need a good polish. Um, and I'm thinking about how to dress this, because you want to get this a little bit nicer, but you, you don't want to lose any crispness of the lettering. So... Um, yeah, that's still under consideration. Well, you're moving along, uh, clean, clean the metal parts. And I think it, it looks quite nice with the black and the, the, the gray and the red and, you know. So, yeah, let's get going again. So guys, here's the end result of this jobby. Now, I must be honest, I'm not completely happy. Um... As you can see, and as I was afraid, I've rounded off these corners and I've spent hours and hours and hours and all sorts of fine and finer and even finer sandpaper trying to get this thing all smooth. Now you can tell all the, you know, all the major scuffs are out, uh, but I couldn't get the plastic to, to the shine it used to have originally, which I would have been able to see on the inside, which you can't see now. Um, but it, it looks relatively decent, I think uh for the unknowing eye sort of three foot away rule um so yeah I'm, I'm not really happy with that i spent quite a bit of time on it you know i've, I've cleaned all the metal parts i did clean the lens as well um i'm relatively happy 
with the with the lens because you you know that, that it had that big scuff over there. It works as well. Um, so we clean clean the contacts and it, it shows up. It works. Gives quite a nice you know it's it's light now. It, it's, it illuminates quite nicely when it's when it's dark. Um, so you can tell you can tell it's working. Uh, so, so that's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it to my bicycle now and uh, show you what that looks like. So guys, here it is mounted to the side of my bicycle. Uh, so that that's where it will be probably for, for the coming time. Um, my bicycle is much newer than the light, obviously. But I think it matches each other quite right. It's got, it's got this nice beam on. So yeah, well. Let me know what you think about the lamp and let me know what you think about my attempt to, to restore it. Thank you. Bye.